morning, everyone. Well, you're getting your first look at our illuminated deck here on the Emerald Isle. And we're also getting our first look at the illuminated deck. I haven't really actually been out here in the dark since we've hooked up our deck lights. So we're quite pleased with how much uh, light we're getting here. Uh, it'd be a lot darker, but it's nice. Feel civilized. <laughs> yeah, we do. So you might be wondering what we're doing here at the uh, in the dead of night, and that is to be seen. So stay tuned. So, yeah, we're just uh, gonna head over to the grid here. Put the boat on, get the bottom cleaned. Most importantly, get the prop and running gear cleaned off. We're actually able to see from the dock that the wheel and the propeller, or rather the, the propeller and the rudder are covered with barnacles and growth, which, uh, we're pretty sure it's the main cause of our lack of thrust and maneuverability here. So, <laughs> if you guys have been watching, um, when we put the reel down, we were kind of struggling to maneuver around, get power out of her. So, we're hoping that's the main cause. If it's not, then I don't know. I guess we'll go from there. But uh, looking down from the dock, we're able to see that there's a thick crust of barnacles and muscles on at least the rudder and we can see that there's a rather large growth of barnacles on all flukes of the wheel so that's effectively making it that thick of a wheel into probably like that thick of a wheel <laughs> so that is not helping anything so we'll head on over here to the grid Get ahead. You guys probably can't see much as usual. Like I've said before, the GoPro is pretty terrible in low light, but I'll show you a little bit at least. <laughs> this is almost to where we used to tie up. Our old domain. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up here and we'll get parked. Hopefully without incident. <laughs>
All right, well, that was uneventful, which is a good thing. So we're just hanging out until our stern end lands. Well, really until the whole boat lands. Looks like we're already hitting back here, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, we're up pretty high back there, relative to the water, so. So I was telling the people how uh, when we went and dropped the reel here, we seemed to have a little bit of lack of thrust, but we were kind of thinking it was due to being tanked down at the time. We were just kind of like taking her out and doing a little spin, picking up the reel, feel, see how it feels uh, tanked down and everything. But on closer examination when we were back at the dock, uh, it seemed to have quite a growth of barnacles on the wheel. And yeah. I don't remember it being there uh, this last winter when we went and did our compass heading uh, calibration, but um, this summer certainly could have caused a, a barnacle bloom. Pretty yeah, cool. if there was some small ones there and then they just grew. Yeah, looking down from the dock, we could definitely see that. There's quite a growth on there, so. That's going to have a pretty big effect on your efficiency of your propeller. Yep. So once the tide goes out here, we can get down there and see what we're looking at, I guess. Yeah. We'll just hang out here for a bit, wait until we touch bottom and see that we sit all right. In the vents here, I think we're already starting to touch down back here. It's because we're really far out of the water feeling already. <laughs> You guys probably can't see a thing. So I don't know why I'm showing you down there. But anyways, we'll bring you guys back once we're uh, a little bit more down, I guess. You all right, guys? Welcome back to EIS Alaska. Some of you guys might have seen us before when we put our boats on the grid, and others may not have, but uh, this is what's called a tunnel grid. Um, we have beams that go out every 10 feet. These are called bents. And these are the pilings that we tie up to. So basically you can bring your vessel in on a high tide. You tie it off and then as the tide goes out, your boat sits on the bents and you can do bottom work. And uh, that's what we're doing today is just a quick clean. And uh, Oh, what else was I going to say? Oh, these bents, they drop six inches. Every, every one is six inches lower, basically. And so depending on the draft of your vessel, um, you're either going to end up this, this end where it's deep or way back at the other end where it's shallow. So had a pretty big tide here, but not as big as the last time we put the emerald dial on here. I think it was almost two feet uh, higher on the high tide and, and two feet lower on the low. So we got just enough room to get the work done that we need to. Um, not only are we just cleaning the bottom, but and and uh, inspecting things. But the biggest thing was that we had uh, a lack of thrust. Um, for some reason, our propeller has um, just barnacled up this last summer. Um, a lot of it is because we haven't moved boat at all, really since. Uh, since we put her back in the water, um, other than just a short little trip here and there. And I guess it just built up, so um, really weird. So we, we went out the other day to get our reel and uh, we had very little power. I mean, we had plenty of power, but we just weren't going anywhere. And uh, you could tell just by the prop wash was, was really light. So um, pretty much knew this was our issue, especially after we kind of looked down in the water at the dock and you can just kind of see glowing white so we're going to get that scraped off and cleaned up um, same thing with the rudder it's pretty coated so we'll get that all cleaned up too we'll get some paint on that um, nothing we can really do about the prop um, i know that there's some companies that sell a product that you can coat your propeller with um, maybe if they're interested in sponsoring us on a video, that would be super cool. But uh, until then, we are just going to get a scrape down and cleaned up. 
So uh, you can see I'm kind of pushing the tide here. So it's not quite low tide yet. I still have about an hour and a half, I think. So um, it'll be enough to, to get the keel exposed and everything. I can scrape the bottom of it off. And I uh, already got the other side pressure washed. I didn't show that because it was pretty dark. I actually got going about 6.30 this morning and just got what I could from the walkway over there that's a little bit higher. And then uh, and now I'm here, but uh, yeah, I got uh, chest waders on underneath my rain gear. I know a lot of people will be disturbed about all the, the blue paint that's in the water. Um, this paint is non-toxic nowadays. It used to be full of copper and zinc and who knows what back in the day. They don't make that stuff anymore uh, for obvious purposes. So, uh, hopefully I'm in the frame here. I'm a little bit distracted this morning. Early morning, we got up at uh, 3.30 to come get on the tide. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, the stuff is non-toxic. It's meant to just basically slough off, and that's what keeps marine growth from uh, getting thick on it. Um, I think it's called ablative, but I might be butchering that word. So anyways, um, let's stick you guys on the bucket here. Hopefully you don't fall over. And uh, let's get going on this. We'll start back here by the rudder and prop. And then uh, we'll work our way forward. Let's go.
don't know. Crazy, right? I think that water's low enough you can wait out here. I think that water's low enough you can wait out here. goes pretty quick. Um, continue on down here. Not too bad getting underneath here. Get the other side of these rolling shocks. Get all the way down to the keel. I gotta jump back to the other side. Get a couple of spots that I couldn't get to when the water was uh, up too high still. And then we'll bust the scraper out and start getting the stuff cleaned up. Kristen! Say hello! <laughs> well, only one pair of chest waders, and they fit me, so I get the fun job. I get to take all the glory.
movie, right? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna bring you over here. Matt's gonna get going on this crusty prop while I keep pressure washing. What do you say, Matt? I knew they were thick, but that's thick. Yeah. <laughs> so who do we need as a sponsor? Uh, we need a prop <laughs> anti-fouling. <laughs> I already forgot the name of the place. I, I think it was uh, Peller Clean. Peller Clean is a... Uh, uh, By uh, C-Jet. C-Jet, yeah. So yeah, C-Jet, if you guys are watching, yeah. hook us up. We would good, love to try out your else. product. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I'm astounded. I don't know what happened. They just like... Just from sitting. Yeah. You know, you get small ones on here, but then when you travel around, they they get uh, blasted off. But when you just sit, they they grow and they grow and they grow. Yeah. Everything else looks pretty good. A little bit on the keel coolers, but not too bad. Yeah, good, um, good. Yeah, I better keep rolling here. Yeah. Uh, so just spit here. You guys, stop. Get a shot here. Alrighty, I better keep on
about a quadruple our speed. Yeah, I think so. We were having some pretty heavy cavitation when we were cruising around the other day. This is plain fly. They come in and steal all the glory. <laughs> the satisfying part. I know. Oh, here. You try some. Yeah, uh, yeah. They are tenacious. They are. Wheel looks good. Prop nuts getting there.
Looking good. We got all the underwater bits covered, so that's good. I don't think we're gonna replace the sinks this time. Uh, there's still plenty of anode left. Um, we plan on getting back on here again, probably in a month's time or month and a half. We'll just see, uh, just to continue uh, work on our processing stuff, and we'll need a couple of through holes for that. So uh, this tire isn't big enough to try and risk putting one through. It's a little bit stressful, so you really want to have your stuff together and be uh, pretty much focused on one thing, not cleaning the whole bottom and doing all that stuff. But at any rate, um, like I said, we'll just do the zinc at that, that at that time. And we'll also probably be spun the other way, so uh, we'll have more time on the front of the boat. You can see we're basically at the end of the grid here. And that's just due to the depth of our boat and the size of the tide right now. It was about a eight foot tide. I think it was um, plus six or a plus eight and minus 0.05. So eight foot high and only a half foot under the average. Hey, what you got there? Oh, you know, just some oh, starfish. Mom and baby. Ah. Piggy bag. Hanging out. <laughs> that looks pretty good, Dad. Yeah. Guess we accomplished our main goal here. Yeah. Upon further inspection, figure we might as well replace the prop sink while we're here. Yeah, this one's actually getting pretty thin, I think, so um, the rest are okay for now, but we do want to get one on here. All the shaft is brand new. We want to protect our investment. Yep, and the prop's no small penny either, so. No, not at all. So we got a nut on here to hold it, but then also hydraulic cement underneath. So, we get this off here. You got me a spanner, I see. Yeah. The appropriate tool. I know everyone loves it when I call it a spanner. <laughs> It's on there good. Yeah. So we use the uh, hydraulic cement uh, to get this in during our time in the yard. So that, yeah, so that lip there is where it used to be. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, way back here. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it's probably getting kind of thin. It's gone. Fractured. There's a the cement oh, right there. there. It is. It's a very thin. All right. Well. Good call, Dad. Don't yeah. want to be cheap with this one. Those shafts were expensive. Yeah. And a lot of work. Yes. Ugh, my arms are tired. <laughs> yeah. That pressure washing is actually kind of exhausting, huh? There's a push on it. Uh, yeah. So I think, I want to say that this probably started out, well, by that ring, a good 3 eighths. Maybe 7 sixteenths. 
You can kind of see the nut peeking through in a few spots there. Oh, there you go. So yeah, these are sacrificial anodes. Basically uh, prevents your good metals that you want to protect from getting eaten up by, I guess, galvanic corrosion. I believe that's the correct term. People get a little bit anal about it. There's galvanic corrosion and electrolysis. electrolysis and galvanic corrosion. Yep. It's a touchy subject. Yep, gotta be so. uh, terminology <laughs> literate, I guess, to, to talk on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, just take this with you. Yeah. But no, uh, yeah, you should just be able to measure that. Three and an eight. Yeah. On the very inside bore. Like the inside bore. And the outside kind of, it looks like there's a little bit of a draft. And it looks like about an inch and five eighths OC on the bolt, so. Inch. Yeah. Inch and five eighths. Five eighths. So three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. And I, I think it's going to be pretty obvious. Okay. It's either going to be the right one or not the right one. Right. Alrighty. Got the sauce. Yeah, I got some uh, hydraulic cement. Some of uh, this stuff. We are starting to lose our tide. Zoinks! I'm gonna have to get steel toed wading shoes next time I'm down here. Tripping over rocks and stuff. They're like boulders down here. Mm -hmm. it makes me angry the big boats come in here and they just blew all the gravel out of this place. I wish they'd like fill it back in, but I guess it probably wouldn't do much. They'd just do it again, right? Put some. Yeah, at well, least fill in the huge craters would be nice, but. I don't know, I guess if they made these guys like... Oh, yeah, too much water. Too much water. When they get off. <laughs> don't breathe that stuff. Good idea. It's like biscuit dough, you just put enough water until it clumps up. Probably something like that. I'm ready. He's ready. I'm ready to go for us. I'm ready to take this baby out for a spin again once we got off the grid. Let's just park. Let's just park it now. Can't. Gotta see if there's a difference. <laughs> 
Right, guys? Good. I remember it kind of like dripped out. Yeah, I think that's stuck down there. Well, I'm glad that you ended up checking that because that wasn't very much anode left. You know, I, I knew that there probably wasn't too much. I kind of forgot how big those prop nuts were. They're yeah, that's massive. what I was thinking. Just a touch more now. Just a tiny splash. Good. I'm looking for like a, about a three slump here. Three slump. Like a peanut butter. That's right, peanut butter. Alrighty, I think you guys can kind of see. Nothing real fancy here, okay? We're just gonna probably mostly just block you guys with my fat hand. So, I don't get to see it anyways. But. Put a little layer on here. Kind of like so. What do I look like, an amateur? Sometimes. Sometimes. The crew is abused. Men. Alrighty guys, well, good show today. Yeah, yeah. Racing the tide is always kind of a scramble, it feels like. Yeah. Actually, it went like real smooth, this whole thing. Yeah. Kind of like, no worries. Considering the tide, so should probably mark this in our book. Marginal, but doable. Yeah. Probably could do the other zincs if we wanted to, no problem. Well, you'd have to. Why well, you have to do all of them? <laughs> can't see it inside but the lock nut on here actually digs into the inside of this so that gives you a good uh, connection um, mechanically and also I guess electrically or something yeah for lack of a better word and then this nut the same thing the cement is really just to help give it a good mechanical connection and uh, so you don't spin it off keep it from spinning off so we'll just snug this bolt up a little now. I just keep kind of tapping it in, trying to get it up against the hub of the, of the prop. By the way, if you hear me call this a wheel, we call them wheels too. Propeller, wheel. Wait. I'm getting a little, I don't know what I'm 
doing. Yeah, smooth it out. Yeah. Looks good. Good, good, good. You tightened it all the way. I snugged it up, Matt. Uh, Tristan. Matt T. Tristan Matt. All right. Well, we got about four inches before your battery goes under, guys. So, time to roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Time to roll out for some breakfast. Yeah, I'm starving. Good. Mom made us some sandwiches. Did she? She's so sweet. Yeah. Oh boy. I need one. Right. Good thing we had that muffin this morning. <laughs> yeah. Tristan makes some uh, pumpkin muffins last night. Really good. Yeah, good job on that pressure washing. You did it all. I did. That's usually our. Right. I'm taking the credit and the glory for it too. You took away my usual duty. I felt kind of lost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm good. I'm just glad that we got it done. Alrighty guys, well, that's it for the grid today. Um, got our new zinc on, got this baby all cleaned up, and the rudder. I think the reason we didn't paint that is because we weren't sure if it's okay to put that on stainless or not. Um, that is a stainless rudder, so gonna have to check on that. Uh, Anyways, we accomplished what we needed to get done here. Take you out here a little bit. Show you the other side of the boat. She looks good. All nice and clean. Um, I don't think I can get over there now though. Anyways, uh, yeah. Happy, happy to get this done. Take a little walk here. So we have a walkway going all the way up to the stairs here so we got what we needed to get done we got a couple of through holes that we need to put in but i think we're just going to wait for bigger tides um eight foot tide is kind of pushing it to get this work done um if i hadn't had waders and we wouldn't have got very much done at all i guess we could have got the got the prop cleaned off and that would have been the important thing but uh yeah yeah all right well now we wait yeah yeah we didn't do the best job positioning the boat you can see we got a little bit of a list there's some some strain on these lines but we just uh tied her up real good and we're nervous all morning yeah. <laughs> and there has been a few boats to flip over fall over on the grid here it's never a good thing so we always try and get a list but we kind of got a slight port list instead of a starboard list and usually we'd go in the other way but we wanted to get that uh, propeller back as far as we possibly could because we didn't know how much uh, water we were gonna have underneath us here today and so we just kind of yeah we're good we got lots of lines on Anyways, that's the important thing. So, all right, guys. Well, I'll hand you down to Matt, and then I'm going to figure out how to scramble on board here. Maybe just go back the way I came. Yeah, that's the easiest. And uh, anyways, thanks for joining us. Um, hope you all enjoyed our grid day. Big shout out to my guys for busting their tail and <laughs> getting this all cleaned up. and yeah pulled her off so we'll see you again soon anyways so hope you enjoyed it thumbs up thumbs down comment down below let us know what you think yep. check us out on instagram and facebook at eis alaska see you later yeah <laughs>